where you'd least expect them. Wild animals invading homes and terrorizing neighborhoods. And what do you do when animals invade your city or town? Urban animal trappers are the only answer. In the next hour, you'll meet this country's best, brightest, and busiest trapper. Plus, raccoons fight back when a trapper tries to remove them from the roof of a home. We just received a call for a lady that has uh, two raccoons that were peering out a hole in our roof at her. When wild animals cross the line and venture into the homes surrounding the Windy City, even the police call Brad Lundstein Chicago's premier animal trapper. We looked up and uh, a head popped out of there. And it was oh, a raccoon. Okay. Raccoons tend to settle in the hollow trunks of trees, but they don't know a tree from a house. They're in so deep. Brad's got to rip the roof open just to get to the furry invaders. Oh, there's Mom. Oh, see ya. Here, Brad. She's right up in here. Does she look healthy? Oh, yeah. Good. You're going to see just how healthy she is in about two seconds. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. Raccoons look cute and cuddly. But these ring-tailed animals can be vicious and also carry a wide variety of diseases. Armed with protective gloves and a catch pole specially equipped with a tiny camera, Brad goes in for the capture. Okay, do or die. He sets the noose around Mama's body and pulls her toward the opening. Brad's been capturing raccoons for over 15 years, but it looks like he's finally met his match. A bad time for him to be reminded this crazed animal's a carnivore. Even though Brad's gloves are made from Kevlar, the same material used in bulletproof vests, the vice-like jaws of the vicious raccoon still send a painful message. Oh, God! That's gonna leave Art. Over the next half hour, Brad removes three more raccoons. But not without suffering a few more battle scars. So I got bit, scratched, and peed on all in one day. But the day ain't over. It isn't long before Brad's on yet another raccoon call. This one, a family of critters escaping the summer heat and living in a chimney. Did you hear, like, chattering sounds? Yes, I and squealing, think arguing. Like arguing? Okay, so there's probably a family of them then? Yes. More than one animal? Yeah. Okay. It looks like we got a mom and, let's see, one, two, let's see, at least two babies. The babies are less than a month old, and they're trapped in the chimney's damper. One wrong move could crush them. But Brad must get Mom out first. He's got to move fast. OK. That's Mom. OK, let me get in and get these babies out. See how they hide their eyes when they're scared? <laughs> so, you can't see me, I can't see you. <laughs> yeah, just like us. Yeah, look, that's what they do. That's one of their things when they're scared. They'll, they'll hide their eyes. Brad goes on to save a total of six babies. All of them return to their mom. A family reunited out of harm's way. We're all set. 